big day for President Xi Jinping, who right at this moment is touring the campus of one of the largest software makers in the world, Microsoft, in Redmond, Washington. He's making the tour as, along the sidelines of that visit, an Internet forum is also taking place. Now, it will be a good opportunity for communication from Microsoft because they've been hampered by widespread software piracy in China. And Chinese regulators last year were said to open an antitrust investigation of the company. And some Chinese government agencies were said to discourage use of their products made by both Microsoft and other U.S. technology companies. At the same time, the Internet Industry Forum is an annual event where uh, executives from around the world, including uh, major tech companies, are attending. They had the opportunity to meet and hear from Liu Wei, the chief of China's Internet policy, and he echoed the comments from President Xi, Jing, Xi Jinping, which said that we have to trust each other and we have to solve our problems through development. We have to dissolve, dissolve our differences through cooperation. Now, earlier um, in the day, Co-op cooperation, that made it put smiles on everybody's faces. Uh, President Xi Jinping also toured the uh, headquarters of Boeing and the aircraft. Uh, he actually got to visit and, and, and step onto the planes that air at the plant uh, in Boeing in Everett, uh, Washington. And China decided to make an order of 300 Boeing aircraft worth $38 billion. That's the first that created a little bit of controversy because... Uh, in the um, announcement, they also decided to build an aircraft completion plant in China. Some concern about jobs, but CEO, Boeing CEO Ray O'Connor says there will be no jobs lost as a result of this work moving. Now, President Xi sort of uh, gave a speech from the heart and uh, really thanked the employees there, saying that they were the most valuable asset of the company, also talking about how he was able to see a, a, a plane that's going to be delivered in Shaman, a place he's very familiar with and a place that he helped in the early days with the airlines when he saw it only having about 12 planes. Now it's getting delivered one of the most advanced aircraft in the world. She emphasized it was a win-win situation for both sides. Chinese airline companies have placed orders for 300 new Boeing planes. In the meantime, China and Boeing have very close collaboration in a number of areas, such as the manufacturing of airplane parts and components, subcontracting, R&D on new materials, aviation emission reduction, the training of personnel, and so on and so forth. Now, Chinese-made components and parts are being used in over 8,000 Boeing planes, that fly around the world. So, Mark, a full schedule for President Xi, but the day is not over. It's only 2 p.m. Eastern where you are. So, what is, what, 2 p.m. Pacific, I should say. So, what else is on the agenda for him? Well, after he uh, tours Microsoft, he will actually be headed south uh, about an hour of Seattle to the city of Tacoma. He will be getting a chance to uh, mingle with the uh, local population there, especially with students and also uh, visit some of the athletes there. We hear that he's going to get a lesson in American football. Uh, this place, uh, the Tacoma, actually holds a special place in his heart because uh, he actually, when he was a party, local party official, he visited there and also helped foster an agreement between Fuzhou and Tacoma to become sister cities. So it's a place he's looking forward to getting to and also uh, learning a lot about American football, I suppose.